Good morning everyone, I hope you're doing alright. A uh, bit of a weird one today, wasn't planning on doing a video, um, just thought I'd go for a bit of a drive, see what it was about, you know, and uh, I stumbled across what looks like a little car show, um, just about 10 minute drive from where I live. So I thought, well we'll go and check that out, see what it's like, and uh, if it's any good I can bring you some footage on it, and uh, yeah, see, you know, go from... So yeah, here we are, I've uh, made it, it was a bit of a queue to get in, um, so I'm not sure if uh, any of you are aware of where I am, if I try and scan around, um, but this is, uh, this is the old helicopter museum uh, just outside Weston, uh, which is where I live actually, so uh, yeah. Um, I have actually been to this show um, a little while ago, um, I just spoke to one of the guys in the uh, car park and he was saying yeah they normally sort of do this every every six months or so so I reckon this is going to be the last one that's featured this year um, so let's go and have a look and see uh, what we can find so I guess it makes sense to uh, start from the beginning and uh, some of you may be aware so Morgan 4-4 uh, it's lovely actually it's a really nice example uh, really nice especially in that red move on to the old uh, TR7 I love these I know they've got Marmite style in, but uh, yeah, I actually really like these. My neighbour had one actually when I was growing up and uh, wasn't as nice as this one I have to say, but uh, yeah, still still a lovely little car. Then on to this uh, lovely little Ford Mustang. Um, I spoke to the owner earlier, he's actually had it since new. Uh, this one's a manual version as well, which is uh, rare, but uh, it does look nice in that colour with the white stripes. Moving on to the old MGB. These are definitely an affordable classic now, these MGBs. You know, you can get uh, really nice ones now for, for not a lot of money. So, which is more than could be said about the Porsche 911. Their, uh, their price is uh, always on the up. And uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, they are definitely a lovely car. Moving on to the old uh, C-Class Mercedes. I think this is the uh, 180 version. It's in a lovely sort of pale green colour. So... Uh, yeah, that's uh, quite nice. Moving on to another Morgan. I'm not even going to guess at what uh, model this is exactly, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm sure I'll find out afterwards and uh, edit it in. MGB, I think. Looks like it. Nice one. Uh, yeah, no, nice in that colour as well. Uh, now we're into the meat and potatoes now with this Audi Quattro. So having a good look around this earlier on this is absolutely lovely and um, yeah the value of these going through the roof now and uh, come across this lovely Jensen uh, I'm not even sure what model it is but I'm gonna have to have a look and see Jensen GT there we go 1975 that's beautiful that's really really nice very unusual not seen one before. TVR Camara. Again, you know the values of these are, you know, coming down a little bit. I mean, you know, sort of still what, fifteen grand, I think, for a nice one. You know, but you're getting a proper V8 for that. I mean, the sound of these are absolutely awesome. And I love the fact that people still can't work out how to uh, open doors on these as well. So that's always a nice little commodity with those. Moving on to the old Spitfire. Again, I've got a lot of love for these. And this, you know, especially on a day like this, driving with the roof down. You know, these are great cars. Absolutely great. And a cracky little interior on there as well. So yeah, love, love that one. So uh, this is, I'm sure, yeah, a three, yeah, Chrysler 300, isn't it? Mob edition. I think they were all slightly mob editions. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not too keen on styling on these. But you know, they are. You don't realise how big they are until you see them in actual flash. They are a big old beast. 
Another one here, this is the estate version. So yeah, we've got a bit of a, a Chrysler collection going on here. A few more. This one's got big wheels on it. With every accessory available from Halfords included on that car. So just walking down, that's another Chrysler. Old uh, T4, T5, not sure, but nice nonetheless. Catalina. And I'll be honest, folks, I only know that because I read it on the side. Pontiac, isn't it? Yes. Sorry, I'm not very up on my uh, American classics. But uh, yeah, it's probably going to take me about two weeks to uh, walk around this. Look at this. This is a lovely, lovely motor. No idea what engine's in it. I'm sure it's probably going to be a V8. Um, left hand drive, obviously. But uh, very nice nonetheless. Moving on to already my star of the show, and I haven't even seen the rest of the cars yet. But this is definitely a bit of me. Really, really nice. Is it an SS? I think it is. I'm not quite sure. The owner's around the back there, so I don't want to make him jump. But uh, yeah, that's a really, really nice cruiser. Yeah, I've got a lot of love for that. I might have to look up a later on what it is. But um, actually, should we nip around the back now? I'm sure, it is an SS. I'm sure, it is. If, it, if it's not, I apologise. No, I don't even know because he's taken all the badges off. There's no. Very nice, so. Very nice. Got a new Ford Mustang here. I mean, just comparing it to the one next door to it. There's no competition, really. I mean, they still look nice, don't get me wrong, but. Sure, this is going to be nice in the green as well. Not sure if this is the bullet. This is a bullet. Yes, it is the bullet edition. Yeah. So I should have known that just by the wheels, really. But yeah, these are going up in value. Pink local dealer selling them for about 47. Something crazy money there. Old Mustang. Love these. It was running a minute ago, so we've just missed out on the noise of it. But uh, needless to say, it did sound absolutely awesome. So yeah, a lot of love for these. Another Ford Mustang here, getting a lot of attention. It's electric. No, um, a Volkswagen. Plymouth. Plymouth car. Duster, Plymouth Duster, and again, I've only there because it's written on the side. So just going to have a look around this one. Apologies in advance on my camera work. It is a bit jittery, but I'm trying not to fall over. But this is, yeah, it's a bit of a big old beast. Never seen one of those before. Every day's a school day. Just while we're on the back here, let's have a look at this Electra 225. I mean, that boot can fit about 10 bodies in it, so uh, which is probably what it used to do back in the day. Nice though. I love the old American classics where they got the bench seat at the front. I think that's really, really neat. Uh, sort of out of place Fiesta ST or Focus ST. Sorry, Focus ST. Take that back. Sorry. I'm not really interested in that. That's too new for me. Another Ford Mustang. 500. Very nice. Again, not too sure on the styling of these sort of facelifted. Well, I don't even know what. It is nice. I guess. I'll, I'll take that back. I do like it. A couple of old trucks here. This is obviously the American section we're in now as uh, we come across another Ford Mustang. Really, really nice, these. I've always wanted one of these. 
Never could afford one, never will. But I just, I think they're brilliant. I wouldn't even care if it had a 1.2 in it, just the styling of it, and just the cool factor, but the fact that mostly got V8s in them gets my vein. Another new Mustang there. Very nice. A couple more Mustangs, 5 litre V8, that one. Old Lincoln Continental, I think. I think. If I've got that wrong again, I apologise. But uh, I'm literally just seeing them as I come round. I'm not even, you know, I don't know what I'm going to see next. Corvette Stingray, I think. I'm sure of it. Sure of it. Those lights. Very nice. Epitomises the American muscle car, really, that does. Very nice. Another Ford Mustang, like that colour. I think it's the best colour they do it in. So it's blue with the black wheels. Really just set it off uh, really nicely. Another Ford Mustang here. An old F100. Early version of the F150, I assume. One of the best selling, or the best selling pickup truck ever. Another Ford Mustang there for you. A couple more Mustangs up here. Just walk past these. Let's see. Just not sure on the styling. Just not sure at all on the styling on those. Got a big old monstrosity here. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice, that is. I like what he's done there. White stripes would make it look really nice. Another Ford Mustang. I mean, if you love Ford Mustangs, this video is a right old treat for you. If you're not too keen on them, then I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, we've got Mustang for days here. Blue one there, not sure about the old uh, purple glittery stripes, but, you know, each of their own. I think this masquerading is a Toyota Corolla. Definitely a Toyota, I know that for sure. But uh, yeah, I like what they've done there. Try and scooch around to the. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get around the back of that, but we'll move on. Well, Night Riders here. So is uh, Michael Fox. Well. I'll never really be a, a fan of the old DeLorean, you know. But uh, yeah, I can see the appeal, I suppose, in some of them. Another Ford Mustang, but an early one. Yeah, not not sure about that. Pontiac Firebird? No, or is it Z28? Oh, it says Z28 on the side. I'm not very good at these at all. It must be. I'm not sure which one. This is definitely Z28 then. Camaro Z28. Yeah, I got that completely wrong. But, you know, this is what's going to happen. Just shows my inept education on American muscle cars. A full bus down there. Just pin round. Over here, we're coming to the end of it now. I think this is this Pontiac Firebird. I'm sure it is. I'm gonna have to go around the back and cheat. Yes, it is. I see. I knew. I knew we had one here. It's it's an auto, you know, which is not uncommon with American muscle cars of that days. They have fuzzy here as well, which is good, keeping things in the. In place. Oh, reminds me of some early Bruce Willis uh, movies. This does watch this in his some of these old police cars, mid sort of mid 90s, 97. A couple of things. Right. So this is the SS. So this is what I was on about earlier. That's that's lovely. That is. I find it so much easier when they've actually got their badges on the cars, so I can work out what they are. Because other than that, I wouldn't have a clue. It's 
Number four, oh, it's a Mac. Mac 3, or is that? It's a Mac, it's a Mac, because I know Hammond had one on Top Gear once, but I've probably got the Mac bit wrong. Uh, Mac, oh, I don't know. I'm getting myself confused with razor blades, I think. But whatever, whatever it is, it's very nice. So we've cut back to uh, some of the stuff that I actually prefer, which is the older English stuff. And this is old uh, Morris Miner here. Good old Morris Mini. Not an Austin, it was actually, yes, an early one. Morris one. Triumph there. Oh, he looks happy, doesn't he? And this uh, slightly out of place, Foxhall Cavalier, which I'm sure someone will love. But yeah, looks all right. Let's pan across to the old Rove of 216 there. Another Rover there. Anglia, Anglia just there, just there. I'll come back to that in a minute. Jag. Oh, old Ford Cortina. 1600E as well. That's the one everyone wanted. Very nice. We'll come round and uh, see that back in a second. Look at this lovely little, lovely little Morris. It's a bit of me that is. A bit of me that is. Very nice. The old Triumph. Is it TR4? Let's say. I could be wrong. Should we go and cheat and have a look around the back? Sure is. Oh, it is. I've, that's brilliant. I've get. I guess that right. So, just coming back on the back of it. It's KR there. Very nice. The V8, V8 metal there. Just walk up here. Try not to fall over. Let's have a look at the old. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, Avenger. 1600 GL, look at that. That's lovely again, that is. Now, this is a bit of me. You know, you can stuff your V8 muscle cars. Just give me one of these, and I'll be very happy. Let's see, uh, what's that? 14 or 1600D there. Just going to take that in. That's very, very nice. I'm not jealous at all. For Golf GTI, I had one of those, but I had the lame one. I had the uh, one that wasn't really a proper GTI. It was the eight valve one, and it was hideous. Things that aren't hideous though is this Porsche 928 S4. It is an automatic, however, it's still a nice bit of kit though. Very nice. Another old Jag. Uh, XK, no, I'm not, no, look, I'm not even going to guess, XK, is it going to tell me? No, I'm sure you'll tell me at home what it is, I could maybe do a bit of research when I get back, but I know it's a Jag, and I'm sure it's an XK something, that's the back end of that uh, Porsche, very, very nice. That's the front of those uh, Rovers, very nice. Old Anglia there as well. And I think that is it. But yeah, good little car, I'll show this. Oh, what's up? Hang on, before we before we go, I've just uh, seen a few more down here. Is this the Mark? Uh, do I, is it a Capri? Yes, it is a Capri. I knew, I, I was just gonna say, is it a Capri? And I didn't wanna that looks silly, but it is a Capri, and it's a very nice one, is that? Is that the Mark? Mark 1? I'm sure of it, I'm sure of it, that's very nice though. Another TR7 there. In uh, In Your Face Orange. Still looks nice though. Escort Estate. What was that? Yeah, very nice, that one. TR6. Very nice, and I think that's the Triumph 
2000 TC, yeah, I was going to say that. Very nice, that one. I want to go and have a look at this Capri again in a minute because I love Capris. My dad had a Capri when I was growing up. His wasn't half as nice as this one. Uh, his was a Mark II, I think, the one with the square headlight, 1600. Nothing special, had the wolf race wheels on it. But I think that's where my love of Capris come from. But yeah, that's very nice, that one. Very, very nice. Back end of that TR7. So yeah, I think that's it. You can see a couple of, well, E-type drag there. Don't really do much for me. My dad loves them. Again, I promise him I'll take, I'll take him out in one and I will do that. I need to speak to Graham at uh, Great Driving Day to try and arrange that. So, definitely. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video and I'll leave you uh, with some of my favourites. Cheers.